West Coast Conference basketball fans, particularly ones that have paid close attention the last two decades, know that the conference runs through either Gonzaga or St. Mary's. With the conference so often coming down to a showdown between these two programs, it's hard not to place it as one of the greatest rivalries in the sport. We'll make the case for the battle between the Gales and the Zags on this edition of Stadium Rivals. The first time Gonzaga and St. Mary's met on the hardwood was December 17, 1955, when Gonzaga pulled off a 94-77 victory. A few more one-off matchups in the 1970s gave way to the annual rivalry, which began with the St. Mary's 91-79 win on January 18, 1980. St. Mary's and Gonzaga went on their share of runs in the early days of the rivalry, neither team winning more than six games in a row against the other. The first time the schools met when either team was ranked came on February 24, 1989, when number 19 St. Mary's won 67-63. While the matchups had fans in the Pacific Northwest on the edge of their seats, the rivalry would not get the recognition on the national level until Mark Few's hiring at Gonzaga in 1999 and Randy Bennett's arrival at St. Mary's in 2001. Mark Few was elevated from the assistant coaching spot to head coach of the Bulldogs on July 26, 1999. His hiring was in the midst of Gonzaga's longest run of success against St. Mary's. The Zags' 90-60 win over the Gales on January 20, 2000 was the fourth straight victory in a run of 17 straight wins from 1999 to 2004. The Zags would make a run to the Sweet 16 in Few's first season. Randy Bennett came to St. Mary's ahead of the 2001-02 season, inheriting a 2-27 squad. Bennett became known for his line of Australian players, starting with Adam Caporn in 2000. He would use that pipeline to turn St. Mary's into a winning program in just his third season at the helm. In the first game between the programs that season, the Gales took down number 11 Gonzaga 89-81. Gonzaga, led at the time by Adam Morrison, would win the second game of the year, 68-63, then beat St. Mary's in the WCC title game, 80-67. Gonzaga has never missed the NCAA tournament under Mark Few. In the 2004-05 season, St. Mary's joined the party. Despite two losses to Gonzaga, St. Mary's earned an at-large bid in the 2005 NCAA Tournament as a 10 seed, losing in the first round against Southern Illinois. The Gales came into the 07-08 matchup ranked number 25 in the country. Freshman Patty Mills scored the final 10 points of regulation and finished with 25 points in the game in a St. Mary's 89-85 OT win. It was the Gales' second consecutive home win over the Zags and earned the team a trip to the NCAA Tournament for the second time in four seasons. It was just a second win in 23 tries for St. Mary's against Gonzaga. The 2009-10 season could be labeled as Bennett's greatest with the Gales. After falling to Gonzaga twice in the regular season, St. Mary's earned revenge with an 81-62 win over number 18 Gonzaga in the WCC Tournament Final. It was a second tournament victory for the Gales since 1987 and led to the team's first NCAA tournament win since 1959. The school would make a run all the way to the Sweet 16 before falling to Baylor. Led by Mickey McConnell's 27 points, St. Mary's edged Gonzaga 73-71 on January 27, 2011, the Gales' first win in Spokane since 1995. The schools would share regular season conference titles that season. Now with Matthew Del Vadova as the new Australian face of the team, St. Mary's top number 21 Gonzaga 83-62 in the first matchup of the year. A 14-2 WCC record gave St. Mary's the outright conference title, the first time since 2000 that Gonzaga had not earned all or part of the conference championship. Topping Gonzaga again 78-74 in OT of the WCC tournament title gave the Gales regular season and tournament titles for the first time in school history. After losing both games in the regular season, Gonzaga needed revenge in the WCC title game. Eric McClellan scored 17 of his 20 points in the second half to help the Zags win the game 85-75 and win the tournament. An 18-year NCAA tournament streak would remain intact, extending to 20 seasons in 2018. By now, it's clear. The WCC runs through Gonzaga or St. Mary's. Since 2000, all 18 regular season titles have gone to either the Zags or the Gales, Gonzaga earning the title outright on 14 of those occasions. Since 1999, 18 of 20 West Coast Conference tournament titles have gone to either Gonzaga or St. Mary's, with the Zags earning 16 of those crowns. West Coast Conference basketball was built on this rivalry, one of the best in the game, fit for a place on Stadium Rivals.